Welcome everybody to the third C Sharp professional tutorial. In this tutorial, we want to talk about DAO or data access layer or DAO. Some people say DAO, some people say DAO. So it's the same data access object or data access layer here. So let's create our data access layer. Uh, we need to make, of course, we need to make an access uh, a class library. So go here, add a new project. And this project make sure that you have a class library and let me go down here we have a class library and this is will be data access layer and click OK okay we just back here we have down we have a default class remove it click yes so we have an empty data access layer here uh, data access library so we need to book classes here but what kind of classes that we want to put uh, we want to put a, a data access uh, object for the Emily and data access object for the department so but what do we mean by uh, uh, data access object uh, to explain that I will show you now what do we mean by data access object so if we go here, move this a little bit here. Uh, we want to use the following libraries from the C sharp libraries: use a system, use a collection that generics. Of course, we want to use list, using uh, link, and using system to text. And this will be later on. But there is an important thing that we want to use when we deal with database because we want to connect with database. Uh, you need to uh, use use the following uh, system the data the SQL client and also we know we need to use the data because we want to use the data set in order to get the data from the database and put the data in the data set so these are very important uh, libraries that we want to import in our project in the DAO and if we move down here you can see we have the following methods implementing in the employee DAO class we have public void add we just give it an object and add this object to the database and we have a list we return a list of all employees in the in the department or you know in the system we just get all employees by this method uh, we can also get a, a all the information uh, related to an ID of an employee so for example if you have a, an employee has a specified ID you just give the ID for example number one you get all the information uh, of this employee by returning the employee itself okay so we have public list we just return uh, you know a, a list of employees okay uh, maybe we don't need this method right now okay and here we can uh, you know update information for an employee using this method and last thing is just we convert the data set that we obtained from the database because we uh, you know we just get a data set uh, obtained from the database we just convert this data set into an employee okay we use this later on but basically these are the main method that we want to use here so let's go to uh, the visual studio again back so here just back on the track go to uh, Dell minimize this and add uh, a new Dell for the the employee so we just go class and here just specify the 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 data object for the employee so employee DAO and just click OK so here we created a new class if you go back to here just select that uh, class and here you can see that we have a namespace and we have and employee DAO. So in order to put all the methods here, I just 
have a make a, a template for all the stuff so let me just paste it here with all the the classes so here we have a uh, okay we have anyway we have the, the previous described uh, libraries and we have the DAO namespace and here we got the MLE DAO and here we just add this is the add method and this is the get all employees method and this is the uh, get by ID so I can name this get by ID and this is search so we just give an employee and return all the data related to this employee okay uh, we just return null for now because we didn't put the the bad information for this uh, we have public void update uh, we have uh, we just reconvert the data set because we every time all the time when we retrieve the data from database using uh, the command I will describe that later uh, we convert just, just this data set into an object of list so you know so we have a, a an error message here because we didn't uh, add reference to the employee so in order to add a reference to employee you need to go to the DAO here uh, references you can just go here add reference and we got this uh, nice window here okay you can select the the entities because we have employee in our entities so just select that and click OK and make sure that you have uh, the entities class library under re the references of DAO. So if we're back again, we will see the same error message, uh, but because we need to uh, using that uh, class library, so we just put using uh, entities and just in that okay as you can see we don't see an error message here just remove this mistake here and okay everything is perfect so take a quick look here everything is fine uh, let's make the other DAO for the department so just copy this all the stuff here just copy it I'll give you a quick method that you can use it for building DAOs so here we just go add and we just add a new class and we just give it department DAO so department DAO click uh, okay click oh, add we got this empty DAO just do the same process uh, for employee just copy and paste from the previous template here just copy this uh, paste it in the, in the department and make sure that you just get the name so if you try and rename this get the name of the DAO and over here you need to replace uh, all the words of employee uh, DAO by department so just paste this because we got the ok rename and we're gonna replace all employees by department so let's do that find so just press ctrl f and go quick replace here find what we want to find the department and the employee so we want to find the employee and we want to replace the employee with the department and click replace all so we got a message 11 occurrences replaced so that's fine so uh, also make a quick look here we got a class uh, department department get all department get by ID uh, we got search we search for department okay fine update okay so we find here we just finished uh, with the templates so we got uh, a ready template for the department and a ready template for uh, the employee there so the next tutorial we're gonna put uh, the stuff inside this method and we're gonna make a connection and make a new database 
uh, for those items. So see you there.